Hi everyone, so I just wanted to make a really quick video while I'm here on the farm so that you can see some of the animals and things that we have. Our first stop here is the chicken coop. Uh, right now, the chickens and the guineas are not outside. This is the little area for the younger chickens and the guinea hens. Um, actually, funny story. Uh, they are in there normally because right now they're younger and um, they are really protective and they actually came out when my grandmother stopped by a couple weeks ago. I wasn't here but they actually <laughs> ran at her car as if they were going to attack it because they're really protective of their space and that's part of why they're really good to have on the farm. Um, <laughs> obviously I don't want them attacking my grandmother and they didn't hurt her and my grandmother thought it was very funny but um, they are very protective and it's good to have them because they help if there are coyotes or something in the area they will go together as a pack and attack it so this is where they stay for right now um, and then it's not very nice out for chickens and guinea hens right now because it's snowing and it's cold but normally they would stay in this space so we will go down to the barn next and see some of the other animals so here i am down by the horses now and this is hello hi how are you this is uh sebastian Yes, you are Sebastian. This is Sebastian. He is a Clydesdale. He's a very big horse. And then in the background here, I'll show you. We have Hershey. And then over here, hi, we have Barney. So this is Hershey. Hey guys, and this is Sebastian. And it just started snowing out, and they stay out all the time, but they also have their little enclosure here in the barn that they can go into if they feel like they're getting too cold. So we're going to stroll over and see if the other horses are out as well. All right, so now we are headed towards the other horse barn and then in the background here, you can kind of see this is what our area looks like. A lot of open space and fields, which I've really missed. And, <laughs> hi, hi. And it appears one of the farm kitties has followed me. Hello, how are you sweetheart? Cats are very important on the farm. They keep away mice and other rodents. And <laughs> um, they're very cute and sweet. So as you can see, one of them has followed me out on my journey to the other barn. Okay, come on, goofy cat. <laughs> so here we are coming up on the other horses. And this is one where I can't get as close because this is our little young Colt uh, Rocket. And this is his mother, I think. And then this is in here, if you can see, this is the other um, horse. And they all have the same mother. So they're all like a little family. You can see this little tether ball thing in here that they can play with. And a lot of times they'll frolic in the snow because they really like it. <laughs> so we'll see if they'll, they'll do that for us today. I'm not sure if they will. And then, so here's the horses. And then I'm just slowly gonna pivot around. And this is some of our hay that we keep to store so that the animals have food all winter long. And this is also a space where some of our farm cats will hang out up here. And then when the chickens are out, sometimes they will actually try 
to sit out here and lay eggs. We let them, we let our chickens roam wherever they want on the farm normally. Today was not a good day for them to be out because it's so cold. But uh, the hay back here, this is actually like a really warm and cozy area for the animals <laughs> to <laughs> hang out. Um, as you can see, my little visitor, <laughs> my little visitor uh, <laughs> is still with me. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. And um, they stay here in the hay, but in the barn inside, not where the horses were. I'll go over and show you in a minute. We also have little shelters for them in there that have hay inside so that they can stay really, really warm. Uh, Cause where we live, the temperatures do drop below zero. And part of living on a farm is that you, you do check on the animals every single day, multiple times a day to feed them and give them water and just make sure everything's okay. So even though it's cold out, <laughs> these animals are very well taken care of. So we will go into the farm and uh, into the barn next and see if we can find some little kittens. So we're just gonna do one more shot here. I'm gonna try to get a little closer. Um, like I said, Rocket is still pretty young, so I'm going to not go beyond this fence right now just because his mother is very protective of him and I do not feel like getting kicked by a Clydesdale today. As you can see, their hooves are very large and it would not be a fun event for me. Okay, we're about to go into the barn right now. In the distance, you might be able to hear the trucks moving through because it's snowing right now. So it's the start of a storm that may or may not get pretty bad here with ice and things. So they're already out on the road and, you know, laying down the salt and cleaning things up and getting ready for the storm. So we're going to take a quick look in the barn and see if we can see the little kittens. So here we are in the barn. Hi! And this little kitty is out. One of the little kitties is more, <laughs> is more brave or courageous, I should say, than the others. One of the other ones just runs away every time. They are super duper tiny and very cute. And then this barn is very old, so We've just been in the process of cleaning it up, so I'm not gonna show you the rest of the area just yet. And in the background, you can hear the chickens. So, uh, as I mentioned before, the younger chickens are inside right now. They didn't wanna come out. My mom opens up the chicken coop every day and lets them decide if they want to come out or not. And today, the older chickens did want to come out but it's pretty cold, so they've just been hanging out in here in the barn, just doing their thing, um, you know, doing what chickens do. Uh, this is a very old dairy barn, so I won't show you the rest right now because it is, if you can see in the background, everything's still a little messy. <laughs> the chickens in the background. <laughs> They're really goofy and it's still really messy and we're still working on cleaning it up and uh, converting the space into space for horses and then, you know, making sure we have room for the kittens and cats and, and the chickens. <laughs> so um, I'll just show you a tiny bit of one section and that's about it. So this is Barney. This is my mom's horse. He was actually trained to do barrel racing, which is a Western style of riding. Hi, buddy. Um, he can't be ridden right now because he has, I believe it's called a navicular disease in his hoof. I don't know if it's one or more, but it gives him a lot of pain, so he can't be ridden right now. And then, hello, buddy. Hi. Hello. 
And then we have our other visitor. This is Sebastian again. Hi, Sebastian. Hello. Hi, guys. And then over here, if you look on the ground, that's just a salt block that they have that they can lick um, that they need so that they can get enough salt in their bodies. Hello.